don't use index as a key in React. <laughs> That's the key message in this video. All right, I've created this little list here with different items. I have a banana, guitar, joystick, palm tree, space invader, and some nice little emojis here. And I can delete these items from the list by clicking this button here. So that works as expected. As you can see, it does a nice little animation also. So I'm using frame emotion for that, but that's not essential in this tutorial. So as you also can see, I do some uh, bit of console logging here. So this one's trigger when this component mounts. I do this in a use effect. And I also have a return function in my use effect that will trigger when the component unmounts. And it will also clean up on each render. So it works as expected, but that's because I'm not using the index as a key. So I'm going to show you here what I've done. I have this little application. Uh, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm using frame emotion for the animations. It's really sweet if you just want to throw in a little animation fast, like, like I did here. Then I have an array with all the items. I have a unique ID on each array, and I call this array cool things. Don't know if they're that cool, but yeah, that's what I call them. And then I have a state. I set the initial state to this array with the cool things. And down below here, you can just forget about this motion stuff and animate presence because this is to the frame of motion library. You can just ignore them if you don't know what they do now. The essential part here is the map method that I do here on the state. And as you can see here, I'm using the item ID on each item as a key, and that's why it's working. And then I show an item for each item in the array. So item is a component that I created also here. And I do some console logging. I do a console log when the component mounts. And then I have a return function here, as I told you. And this will console log when the component unmount or when it does a cleanup before each render. OK, so that's the application. But if we look here, if I change this one to the index instead, like that and save it, go back to the application. And I'm happily clicking on these buttons here and think that it will work. But as you can see, it always removed the last item in the list. And why is it so? You can see also that it does a lot of more stuff here uh, in the console log. So what I'm doing here, if I, for example, remove the palm tree here, we can see it does a cleanup. And that's because I removed the palm tree. And then it does some rendering. OK, that's because it renders out the Space Invader. But the essential thing here is that it will render the Space Invader in the same component as the palm tree. React will only change the content because this one here, as we still have four items, that means that we have an index of 0, 1, 2, and 3. This one has the same index and thus has the same key as the palm tree had before. So this is actually the exact same component as the palm tree was in. So it just re-renders the content for this one. And the last cleanup here is because it, it removed the last item here. But this is the same component as the palm tree. And this is why it don't work. Because if you're using the index as a key, they will not be unique. Because next time it renders the array, we still have these items. They are in a different order now because I removed that one. But they will have the same key because we're using the index as a key. So that's why I hope that makes sense. I think when you visualize it like this, it's easier to understand also. So if I remove the first one here, you can see it, it does a lot of stuff here because it re-renders the content in the exact same components and it removes the last one. But if I was to remove the last one all the time, you can see that it's working as expected. So you can use the key if you're always going to remove the last item in the list, but I don't suggest it. And you can also use the key if you don't have a unique ID and you know that your items isn't going to change in order or stuff like that, you can use the index. And I think they also tell you that in the React official documentation. Just try to find something else. In this case, I could have used the names because they're different on each item. So if I have unique item names, I could use that instead. In this case, I provided a unique ID so I could use that. It's usually not that hard to find something that's unique. In a case where you, for example, grab data from an API, you probably will get a unique ID on each item anyway, so you can use that one instead. So hope this made sense.
got a lot of questions about this on my courses and also in the comments here on YouTube. So I hope this explains a little bit why you shouldn't use index as a key. So if you like this content, make sure to support me by hitting that subscribe button and I will provide you with weekly videos on mostly front-end and React stuff, but I also do other stuff, uh, some occasional back-end stuff and uh, just some fun projects and talks and stuff like that. So see you in another one.